Where's the stock market headed? Up, down, or just plain sideways? Where are the best opportunities right now? Dave cuts through the fluff in a no-nonsense manner. Random Thoughts with Dave Landry Podcast. Here's your host, Dave Landry. This is your Random Thoughts Podcast for Wednesday, November 11th, 2015. Unfinished business. I tend to be more of a starter than a finisher. Around the house, I approach a new project with wild enthusiasm. That enthusiasm tends to wane, especially as the last 10% is neared, if I ever get that far. And if I'm not careful, another project gets started in the meantime. My garage, office, and property are littered with unfinished projects. Hey, I'll get to them someday. This drives my wife nuts. I like to stay married, so I'm not stupid enough to make the quote, short trip, unquote, joke. Anyway, before I digress too far, my point is that this market reminds me of me. It seemed that it was off to a great start with wild enthusiasm. 12% in one month is nothing to sneeze at. Metaphorically, it just needs to finish that last 10%. The ascent has slowed and even turned down on a much shorter term basis. This action has installed right at multiple tops. It's not the end of the world. The market just has unfinished business. Bond and bonds. As he walked off the set, Daniel Craig, battered, bruised, shaken, and stirred, was asked if he'd ever do another James Bond. He said something to the effect that he'd rather have a prostate exam. He later recanted, explaining British humor and candor within the context. Okay, Dave, other than Google buzzword hits, what is Daniel Craig starring in James Bond and Spectre, I mean Spectre, which earned $73 million its opening weekend? That's more than Peanuts, which earned $45 million, have to do with the market. Well, I think this market is just a little tired. Rising rates seem to be the flavor of the month on and off for this market for most of 2015. According to the charts, it now looks like it's on again, and utilities and real estate got the memo. A tale of emotion. Quote, the emotional tale wags the rational dog, unquote, is a quote I came across while sitting in a library this morning. They led up to this quote by stating the fact that insurance purchases and precautionary measures are often taken after disasters. Markets are emotional. If they weren't, this technical analysis thingy would not work. Our job as technicians is to read the emotions of others through the charts and capitalize on them while keeping ours in check. As long as the market chugs along, everyone who is long is happy. Since it's been six years since the last disaster, most aren't too worried about being prudent. That'll change quickly if the market begins to sell off again. Those who didn't sell in a recent slide will be quickly forced to rethink their position. Buy and hold works until it don't. 50 to as much as 90% market drops throughout history have built my case here. The market actually looks pretty good if you just look at the last run and recent pullback. It still has to plow its way past the recent peaks, aka resistance, to get to new highs, though. And I hope it does finish its business. I have no regrets for being prudent. I know that at the least, I'll live to die another day. To the sectors, the aforementioned interest rate sensitive areas have begun to slide. Can the overall market shrug this off? Maybe, as long as not too many other sectors begin to join in the fray. Some areas, like foods, defense, and software, have recently broken out to new highs, but have begun to come right back in in a, quote, water's fine, just kidding, unquote, manner. Other areas, such as retail, didn't quite make it there to new highs, that is, before beginning to stall. In the bad and the ugly departments, transports, drugs, hardware, and a host of other areas still look dubious at best, stalling well short of their old highs. I want to be a bull, but the market just won't let me. You have to dig deep and not take the major indices for face value. If you don't have the time to sift through several thousand stocks in hundreds of sectors each night or can't afford me to do it for you, I'm not cheap, then at the least... Make sure you take a look at the broad base Rusty 2000. That's IWM. It's an ETF. It's had an okay run recently, but it's still well short of new highs. And longer term, it hasn't made much forward progress on a net-net basis in a few years. So what do we do? Again, I have no regrets for being prudent, nor should you. He who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. Stop me if you heard that before. It's hard to be patient when the market is in, quote, sorted out phase, but that's the thing to do. You have to pick your spots very carefully. But all I'm seeing on the radar now is a few speculative IPOs. I'm going to nibble there on entries, but for the most part, I'm going to be patient. Now's not the time to start new projects. 
Best of luck with trading today, Dave. The quote was from Thinking Fast and Slow. See my website for a link to Amazon. It's a Big Dave approved book. Want to learn more about trading? Visit DaveLandry.com for free reports, articles, videos, and live webinars. Got a question on trading? Email Dave at Dave at DaveLandry.com.